Hey guys, so I'm importing my empties footage for this week's video right now and I thought that I would show you guys, I realized it's like the end of the month and I don't know if I'm gonna actually do like a true like favorites video this month, maybe I still will, but I was doing my makeup a little bit just to film that real quick and I was like, you know what, I actually do have like some like new favorites that like are standing out to me that like I've been using a lot this past month so I thought I could just show them to you guys here so let me just show you <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my hair I feel like the brown is really coming through now again and it was just black a few days ago and it's really like kind of frizzy and Anyway, I don't know, but uh, I thought I would show you some of these items. So the first one I've been using a lot, and I remember the very, very first time I used it, I kind of was like, I don't know about this. I don't know. And it's the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. That's what it looks like. They have multiple of these now of like different for different things by Urban Decay. And it's, but this one's the Optical Illusion. And then I just started using it more and more. And it's like a pump. And so down here you can kind of see where it's like coming up um, of, of it being used. And I love this now, guys. It really reminds me though of like kind of the professional. Actually, you know what? I have some of that. Let's put a side by side. Um, the Benefit Professional, one of my favorites. I'm almost out of this little guy. Like pretty much different color, but almost identical like texture to them. And I don't know, I just, it's really, really thick. It's super thick, but it definitely like fills in the pores and gives you just like this smooth canvas to work with. I'm really liking it. Okay, let's blend this one out. Um, yeah, they even feel like the same. But what's cool is Urban Decay is cruelty free and unfortunately Benefit is not. I'm really surprised by that. I don't know why, but I just feel like they would be a brand that is I don't know now granted guys I put a lot on my hand um, but it definitely does like if you keep blending it in it will I really really like it I just think it makes your skin super super smooth for putting on foundation afterwards I really really like this so I would definitely recommend this one I just think at first the color of it being a little bit of a white cast the first time I used it I was like unsure about it, but I've just been using it more and more and I love it. Yeah, I kind of just wiped it off with a baby wipe, but it's still like velvet. It's really weird. <laughs> okay, so that was the first item and I'll link everything below if you want to like shop it at all. And the next one, and I have actually had this in like a palette form in the Little Black Book of Bronzers by Too Faced. I have this, but I had a little like kind of travel one. It's already kind of dirty because I've been using it a lot. I've just been grabbing it and it's the Sun Bunny one. It's been out forever forever but I I don't know I just wasn't really I guess grabbing it before and now this is like all I use right now I don't know I really really like it it does have a slight like sheen to it but I know lighting's not great in here right now but um but it definitely is is very minimal like it's not sparkly it's not glittery and it's really not even shimmery it's just got a nice little sheen to it and i really really like this recently this one doesn't smell though you know the chocolate soleil bronzer stuff's amazing <laughs> and actually i'll totally show you guys because it should be here today it might even be in my mailbox right now i just haven't gone but i actually did make a small sephora order and just a small one i literally got like two things i got so you guys know i love this tarte foundation brush it's like my favorite brush to use for foundation now and i like my beauty blender too but if i do use a brush this is what i use and they came out with like a new one that is slightly angled but still like the bamboo brush and like I think same bristles and I wanted to try it so I ordered that but I'll totally show you it when it comes and then I also got another Z palette because I have a lot of individual shadows and blushes that are just literally like right here that are like totally out and that's not really good so I got one of those but anyway I'll show you when it when it arrives 
Speaking of Tarte products, so I tried using this again today. It's their like marine boosting mist. I kind of use it more as like a primer too of just, I use this first and then I put on the like real primer after like this one. And what's funny is when you smell it through here, like mandarin orange is what I smell, which I normally like. I don't know though guys, like it's super fine mist, which is great. I don't like the smell. This, so this is kind of a fail. <laughs> I don't know. I'll probably still use it if I can withstand it, but I don't love this. It just smells kind of funny. I don't know. What else? What else? <laughs> this is still my all-time favorite blush. Like, literally all-time favorite. It's, like, the best. It's Mood Exposure from Hourglass. I love it. I've had this for, like, two years now, and it's got, like, a dent in it for sure, but it, I can't even get through this thing, but I love it. I'm wearing it today. I just think it's the prettiest, like, kind of plum color blush, and I love it. If you're not super, super fair, then, I mean, I'm kind of fair medium, and I think it's just perfect. I love that. That's just been like a favorite forever though. <laughs> I'm having like a heck of a time right now with mascaras, guys. Like I have some favorites. Like I love the Benefit Roller Lash one. I love that one. But again, I don't have it anymore and I don't really want to buy it because they're not cruelty free. And so I've been trying, going through like other ones that I have. And with that said, I've been using, and even today I'm wearing it, is the, the Shock by YSL. Again, not cruelty free, but I had this one and I've really been enjoying this mascara like I really like it I like the wand on it it's like a smaller better than sex wand which I have right here and I used to say better than sex mascara was like my tried and true see how similar they are that's the better than sex one and that's the YSL one and they're very similar guys like I used to love this better than sex one but now it's just a hot mess on my face. Like I put it on and it works well for your lashes, but like literally like an hour later, it's all right here, all right here or up on my eyelid too. And I don't know what it is. And then I even have the waterproof one too and it's the same thing. Like it doesn't make a difference at all. Um, so that kind of blows. <laughs> and then this Urban Decay Perversion one I've been trying out too. And I like the wand. That's kind of my style of one. It does the same thing as like the better than sex one. It just doesn't stay on. So I'm having a hard time. <laughs> but I really do like that YSL one, but I won't purchase it myself. You guys know if you've been following me a while, a lot of this stuff, which I'm so, so grateful for, like so grateful. But that's how sometimes I do come into a lot of these items that are still like newer items to me, but I didn't purchase them. My One of my best, best friends, Andrew, sends me a lot of this stuff which again super thankful for um and i'm glad i can try them and even just to try them and go look they're not worth the hype anyway <laughs> but uh yeah oh oh i have another one for you guys hold on so speaking of my friend who sends me a lot of this stuff this was something new that I just opened up to try out, and it's the, called Blue Moon by Sunday Riley, and it is a, like a makeup melter, cleanser, basically makeup remover is how I've been using it. Oh my gosh, like I just tried it for the first few times, and I was like, I'm obsessed with this. It's like a blue color. I've already used a lot, and it's like the ittiest, bittiest little bit of exfoliant in it, but really just this super, super smooth, smooth, like cleanser makeup remover. And it does not leave any oiliness on your skin though at all. I'm like, I used this twice and I was like, yep, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this. And then, <laughs> and then I looked it up <laughs> on Sephora because when I made that order for the brush and the Z palette, I was like, I might get this again. And cause I really like it and it's, super small it's one ounce and it's fifty dollars and i text my friend <laughs> and i was like why is this fifty dollars like i mean i love it i do but really fifty dollars for one ounce of like makeup remover come on he's like yeah it's the brand and i'm like oh my god <laughs> So I showed my friend this, the one I've told you that we're like, are gonna do like the essential oil like video on and stuff. And she's like, we can make this because we looked up the ingredients and stuff and we're gonna try to make this, recreate this on our own because I'm telling you guys, if you get your hands on it, I think you're gonna love it, but it's $50. <laughs> 
come on. <laughs> so that's another favorite, but I'm like mad at it. <laughs> Best eyelash curler on the market, in my opinion, is the Tarte one. I'll just keep that short and sweet. Seriously though, I mean, it's stupid to pay like 18, 19 dollars for this thing when you can get like drugstore ones, but guys, I'm like not even kidding. This is like the best one. I love this thing. Love it. <laughs> and what else? What else? I think that might be it. Those are just the, the ones that like really stood out to me and I keep grabbing like anytime I do my makeup now. But yeah, I thought I'd show you guys. But I have to go edit and get that up for you guys. So yeah, I just thought I would show you. If I end up doing a like favorites video after all though, I'll totally include like beauty products and stuff and then like home products too. Um, maybe I'll do one for like November, but can you guys see how dirty again my um, table is? You know what I'm talking about. If you watch like my last couple weeks of go vlog, like it's just, like taking no time to get dirty in here from having the window open. Yeah. Oh, and then this sitting on my table here is my very first like tax renewal thing for my website for the business part for the store part and I had to do that I had to learn it was really simple but <laughs> yeah I'm like I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> so yep I had to do that but uh, I feel like I haven't really talked about my store much lately you know not much has changed on it I haven't added anything really new and that's probably why I haven't really talked about it that much but if you are newer um, I do have a store and I sell like jewelry pieces and I also have uh, magnets too and so that's all I'm there and I love making them for you guys because you can kind of do them all custom to whatever it is you like but yeah so that's that and that's always linked below what you doing little rabbit what you doing you're funny what you doing you doing that bunny thing come say hi come do a little get ready with me I'm getting ready to uh, <laughs> Clean the pig. <laughs> I'm gonna, um, I'm using some of that tart stuff that I'm not. Do you like the smell of this? Smell it. Right. Smell it. No. I don't either. <laughs> we'll put it all over your face. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna try to get through it. I don't know. I just don't like it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. But I thought I'd show you guys what I did get from Sephora, like I mentioned yesterday. Bye. I gotta go clean the pig pen. <gasps> and then, oh, well. I'm going to go stream. So, guys. All right. Here's the deal. <laughs> Nate has officially. I'm going to start. Huh? I said I'm starting. Nate has officially started his channel. But don't get too excited. <laughs> um, I'm using that um, primer from Urban Decay. That I told you. Let me put a mirror right here. Because you're in my brushes right now. And I can't see you. <laughs> But he did. He started his channel, and which is really cool. He was really nervous. <laughs> and sorry for the noise. It's trash day. It's it's a gaming channel, guys. Like it's Dota 2, which I've like I know nothing about other than that he plays it. It is so confusing to me and stressful and <laughs> not my thing. But I will put his channel below and. <laughs> Even if you want to just go and, you know, subscribe and support him, I don't, I, I won't even really watch the videos. <laughs> um, and I don't mean that meanly. I just, I really have no idea what's going on in them. <laughs> and, but I'm, I'm glad for him. He's, he's always wanted to do it too. And, but it's, you know, it's scary and he doesn't have as much time obviously to put into it. But yeah, so Nate is officially doing that. Anyway, but uh, this is the new brush I was telling you guys I ordered. And this just to kind of put in comparison was the other one. And I love this thing, but this is a little bit like more squared and a slightly angled. And it's like the identical bristles though. And I'm, I'm gonna try it. My skin right now is kind of crazy because it's that time. I know you're not really supposed to do this, but I'm gonna. Uh, this is the NARS like tinted moisturizer. I love this stuff. And oh, it's so soft. It's so soft. Um, it's actually even a little bit softer than the other one. So we'll see. But I, it's it's that time. And oh my gosh, you guys, like it is a, a doozy this time. But being me, 
and like I've told you guys like with PCOS and just a lot of like hormonal imbalances my like cycle I sometimes don't have a period for months and months and I have it now and it is coming with a vengeance and yeah I've actually filmed yesterday that empties video that already went up and you guys are so sweet like a lot of you already commented you look so pretty and I'm like thanks because I was really like having a hard time getting it together to film that because I was so just out of it but thanks <laughs> and yeah Oh, I like this. This is good. Okay. <laughs> so I'll link this below too. But we are actually going to run to the store and get... But yeah, my skin right now is just like... I'm not even... Like, it's just from that, I think. But I'm going to go get some more bunny things. <laughs> and that was like Nate's idea. He's so obsessed. It's ridiculous. But we want to... We, I think, are going to keep his cage, actually. Like, the crate and he loves it like the bunny is so comfortable like we it's he's out and about right now and he like just goes back to it and oh he's right here hello <laughs> and uh he loves it and he'll just go right back into it and just chill there even though he has free range like, he just loves it so i think we're gonna keep that but just get a little bit of like the food dishes that actually hook to the side just to like keep it a little cleanlier maybe we'll see keeping an eye on that bunny but uh yeah so yeah I'm like right here is really bad I don't know oh I really like this I like the other one too but I really like this it's really soft but dense to like distribute the product and not like just soak up the product I like it I'm just doing like a quick little routine here oh my goodness yeah I'm just out of it guys I really am it kind of sucks because Nate's off this week and oh my nose itches and I would be cool to do something sort of fun I don't know what I hear that rabbit and <laughs> um hold on but I'm just like my I, it's like 9 a.m. right now 9 50 and I like I'm gonna hit my wall soon already I can feel it like it's just that's how it's been this week anyway and then guys the z palette i got was okay so this is my old one and it's a, the large one that you can get from there i'll link it all below too and it's pretty full and then the one i ordered now is this one and it's slightly smaller not by a whole lot but it's a double-sided one i already put some stuff in it and then the other side has this too so there's hair but uh i like it the only thing i'm noticing in comparison is like it's weird it's like this one is a little bit deeper and so like right now even these shadows or these blushes are kind of getting squished a little from the lid not terrible but just a little bit but those are kind of domed but that's the only thing I'm noticing but I still like that it's like a double-sided one and this one's on like sale right now too it's like 24 I think which isn't bad because it's still pretty big hold on bunny but yeah that was like all that I got and I'm using that lash curler. I love it. Uh, I do. But uh, I did get a few like little samples of stuff as you do. Oh, and then I actually redeemed my points. Isn't this cute? It's like a little ceramic, uh, like a little holder thing. And it's cute. It says wake up to makeup. It's really cute. It's like heavy too. And I had like points to redeem for that. But yeah, I think we're going to go just put on this mascara real quick. I think we're gonna go and get some of the stuff for the bunny and then I need a change and yeah. <laughs> but uh and then I think Nate's gonna come home and do his his gaming stuff. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I thought I'd show you what I got from uh Sephora. So we just got back from PetSmart and just got two of these to put into the cage for the bunny. It's just a plastic crock and just to hold water. And then guys, look, look at it. We got him a hammock. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Oh, these, man. And he's going to be so happy. And you just put it in there like that, and he goes. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That's adorable. Oh, sweet baby. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Yeah. You don't like your cage, huh? Yeah. Hello. That's not the life. <laughs> we have lost our minds. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. He loves his little box of hay. 
Vita. Your first line won't forget. So is it true? No one's taking you yet. I remember people staring as we stepped outside. They had only one goal. Get me off of your mind. I was no good, they said. You could do much better, but you gave them one minute. Do you want to try it? Give it a whirl. So guys, this company uh, sent these to me to try out and they're really cool, but I guess they're at Walmart now, guys. But it comes with like a top of tahini, a little spoon, and then the rest is like ready to go hummus. So all you do is you pour in the top, stir it in, and you've got your hummus to go. So I've already made this one. What is it? It's a village, a blend of garlic and cumin. And I put some crackers. I was taking a photo. It's good? It's good. All right. It's actually pretty darn good. Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. You can just hear us crunching, but I like that. So they have a classic one, the blazing one, which is like a hot one, and then the Mediterranean, and then that garlic. They're, that's really good. That is very good. I put this one in the fridge knowing we were going to eat it first, but you don't technically have to. Like, these can just stay in your pantry. But I just personally think hummus tastes a little bit better cold. But again, the idea is, you know, you can take these on the go with you. How cool is that? I like that it comes with a little, like, spoon for it, too, so you don't have to bring anything extra. I want to try it with the tortillas. Try it with the tortilla. The married crackers have a lot of flavor in themselves. Yeah, no, it's really good. Yeah, give it a whirl. It's good. I like that. It tastes really like fresh, like fresh hummus. Mm-hmm. I didn't know, like it even says on here too, like no water needed, ready to stir, ready to go. Because I didn't know if you had to like add stuff to it. And technically, I mean, you don't even have to probably put the tahini in it, but it makes it a lot creamier. Um, but whatever you prefer. Cool. Yeah, taking a photo. That's pretty darn good. Yeah, I like that. Right on. It's a fair amount too. That's a lot. Yeah, let's see if the serving is, servings is seven. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? <laughs> Servings of seven, two tablespoons each, 45 calories. It's pretty standard, but mm. yeah. There's a, but point is, there's a lot in it, so. But that's about when I take mine for lunch. Mm -hmm. That's about how much I have when I do like two pieces of naan bread. I like it. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'll link it below if it's like online too, but I know that it's at Walmart now. But I, I don't know if you guys saw this stuff out, but. I think we're going to go to Trader Joe's today or tomorrow, but I need to still return these things. These two are the things that actually are not vegan and we didn't realize. And I keep forgetting to grab them the times we've gone back since. And then this facial cleansing oil I got a while ago. I've used very little. I just don't really like it. It just didn't do anything for me. And then this moisturizer too. Like it's not bad, but now I'm just kind of changing up what I use. So I figure might as well just return it. So and nate made the the bunny the little uh toilet paper roll he likes it he's already chewed on it mama what? can i tell you something what mr hob he's a good bunny he, he really is shine, cause I know we are